In this uh, demo on uh, fraud detection, we start off with a list of fake internal and external bank account numbers, of which uh, we can select one and give it, for instance, uh, a status fraud. And it's uh, it appears in a diagram. And now I can apply a certain number of rules and expand the network. Um, and the rules that are applied are, of course, are specific for uh, for each bank. Uh, and in this case, it identifies immediately a number of fraudulent uh, bank accounts and also a number of uh, suspect bank accounts. You can see that the list in the left top is, is uh, also updated automatically. And uh, a list appears of uh, other fraudulent cases, networks that have been investigated previously. Uh, so this helps uh, teams to collaborate. Um, we also can bring into view the IP addresses that are used for all the transactions and they are also automatically um, set to, to fraudulent or suspect. The next step would be to include account holders of the the accounts and to see whether there are other accounts that are um, uh, that may be may have to be investigated. As you can see, the network grows and becomes increasingly complex, but it's still very easy to to visualize. So, if you want to look at uh, how the overlapping cases, how they compare to this case, you can you can open it. This first one has two uh, bank account numbers that are apparently um, uh, share the same uh, the sh that are shared between uh, the case and the, the current view. So as you can see, you can easily spot them. They are in two completely different parts of the network. Um, the other case, there is another case that uh, that is completely uh, included, the Herrera case, which has 13 bank account numbers and one person. That is uh, that is that they have in common. You can also add information to the network. For instance, if you come to the conclusion that these three account holders are, in fact, there are three identities of the same person. And in that case, you can create an alias. For instance, uh, let's put it person X and add that to the network. So that is also stored in the graph and uh, will be visible for anyone who is, uh, who is investigating this case. So with this demo, um, I hope to have shown to you that it's quite easy to make a good visualization using uh, a graph database and uh, a good UI like our Interactor. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed this demo and uh, stay tuned for uh, more. Thank you.